Okay, my name is Kathy Loft. I'm portraying Liz Folio, folks, and you have seen me before at uh, Little Theater of Mechanicsburg, as well as Oyster Mac. Okay. My name is William O'Donnell. I'm portraying Dr. Bessner, and you have seen me before in at uh, Oyster Mill Playhouse, Little Theater of Mechanicsburg, of uh, Gamut Theater and uh, Theater Harrisburg. And so basically if you walk into a theater in the mid-state, we've seen you at some point. More than likely, yes. <laughs> okay, I can dig that. All right, so um, <clears throat> tell me, in character, tell me who you are and tell me about yourself. Well, I'm Miss Philia Folks. I'm a very wealthy, very snobbish um, English gentlewoman. I've come on the cruise and I brought my niece, Christina, so that she may have an advantage that she has not had in her upbringing thus far. I'm Herr Dr. Bessner. I am a physician from a small European country, which is uh, more, uh, most likely uh, somewhere near Germany. And I am a socially awkward but uh, conscientious doctor who has, who, who ha has a lot of sympathy for the little guy and is not a fan of the big business. So playing against type, basically. <laughs> Okay, well done, well done. Okay, uh, so tell, tell me, um, are, are you um, familiar with Christy? Do you read a lot of Christy? And uh, how do you feel about her as, a, as an author and a playwright? Um, I've read so-so about Christy. I haven't read everything she's done. Um, I find her very interesting as a playwright with the twists and turns. Um, and uh, I've enjoyed doing this. Sh I'm enjoying doing this show. Um, I have not read very many Agatha Christie. Uh, I have not read. I don't. Well, I read Murder on the Orient Express, but I do believe everybody has read Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, aside from that, most of my uh, Agatha Christie experience has come in uh, acting or working on uh, uh, Agatha Christie plays. And what I, oh, I would say I'm fascinated b by uh, murder being a, a, a subject for hot blood, but uh, her plays, uh, there's something cold and calculating about, uh, about the whole thing. It's more like a mathematical problem than an actual crime. Okay, that's interesting. All right, um, <clears throat> so let's have a little bit of fun then. Um, Tell me something about you that nobody knows. Twenty minutes later. When I was a teenager, I was in the Miss Pennsylvania competition. Okay. I did not know that. <laughs> Up until a year ago, I had never tried watermelon with peanut butter on it. And how, pray, did you come across this? <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I had made a point of mentioning for the longest time that uh, I had never tried watermelon with peanut butter on it. And a stage manager of a show I was working on at the time brought in watermelon and a jar of peanut butter so that I would never be able to say that I've never had watermelon with peanut butter on it. <laughs> and how is watermelon with peanut butter? Butter. It's very odd. It's it's a strange mix of textures, and it's uh, <laughs> the taste was unusual. <laughs> I I yeah no I, I I can totally see that yeah. Oh okay. Um, now that I'm completely off my train of thought. <laughs> Oh, boy. Um, all right. Well, you know what, then? I'm just going to get you back for that one. And um, tell me something you like, loathe, and have recently learned. 
beyond the whole peanut butter and watermelon <laughs> <Okay>. thing. <laughs> You've learned that I'm weirded out by peanut butter and watermelon. <laughs> okay. See, you uh, are something I like. Um, I like. Uh, Six and a half hours later. Yeah, I like uh, eggplant parmesan. All right. I loathe the preponderance of celebrity deaths of the year 2016. I mean, it's like, I don't know if it's as many as uh, any other recent years, but still, it just seems all at once. It seems um, pretty daunting. And something uh, I recently learned was... Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I recently learned that uh, that on uh, rewatching the uh, Blu-ray of Hellraiser, that uh, the uh, dolly to uh, tow a creature along was in the shot because the aspect ratio from DVD to Blu-ray had widened the scope of the shot, so yes, you'd see the monster being towed on a dolly. Okay, which scene is now I'm gonna have uh, to watch? It was uh, it was the scene uh, down the going down the corridor in the cotton house where the I forget what the monster is called now, but it wasn't one of a pinhead or any of them. It was the big. I think I know what you're talking about. The big thing with the with like the hooks uh, dragging the sides of uh -huh. the. Uh, well, yes. I forget the name of the creature. Okay. I, mean, I, I will probably insert a still here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Gabby? I like meeting new people. I loathe the spice curry. And, um... So Heresy. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. And I recently learned to know a lot of new people with this cast, which goes back to my first thing, that I just enjoy meeting people, and learning to know about them and working with them. Right. Kathy and I have worked together a few Several times. times. Yes, so. yes, we have. Mm. In different so, capacities. Yes, yes. Um, yes. Um, we've uh, uh, been in shows together, yes. and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I directed you yes. at one point. Yes, mm -hmm. so we have a bit of a history. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. All right, well, let's bring this down to a close then. Why should the good people of Central Pennsylvania come see a murder on the Nile at Nile, Nile at Oyster Mill Playhouse? <laughs> well, because it's exciting. There are lots of twists and turns, and I think that you'll be very surprised at what ends up happening. What do you think? I agree, I agree with that, that what comes... Oh, uh, what comes about in the play will definitely be a uh, be surprise. I mean, even if you've read uh, uh, Death on the Nile, mm -hmm, the novel mm -hmm. that the play is based mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. but um, yes, uh, see uh, see uh, drawing room or like boat lounge mystery, <laughs> and uh, and see uh, y and hear yet another accent from William O'Donnell. <laughs> Incidentally. Since you have the best mustache in the place, give me a Hercule Poro. <laughs> well, my, might I say, I'm glad he didn't say that to me. <laughs> I have the best mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I will exercise my little gray cells. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.